previous class we were discussing about coordinate geometry that is the graphs okay that is the cartesian plane system coordinate plane okay that is the x axis the y axis and how to plot the points and then next what we did we did about the distance formula okay how to find the distance between two points on a graph so for that what formula we learned square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square so we finished the first roman letter we will go for the second roman letter now okay now in second roman letter what they have given determine whether the given sets of points in each cases are collinear collinear means what all these three points they lie on the same line that is the meaning of collinear okay three points they lie they lie on the same line first point second point third point all the three points if they lie on the same line it is called collinear so what we have to do we have to find the distance formula okay the first two points you find the distance formula next two points you find the distance formula then first one and last one you find the distance formula okay that is how we will do now see suppose if you have like this suppose if this point is a this point is b and this point is c suppose if this is 2 cm this is 3 cm okay so distance between ab is 2 cm suppose then distance between bc is 3 cm so what should be distance between ac distance between ac should be 2 plus 3 that is 5 okay distance between ac should be 5 cm so that is how you have to do first you find the distance between ab distance between bc and distance between ac any two distances you add you should get the third one that is how we have to check okay if the addition answer is same we will say that they are collinear they are lying on the same line so we will start now okay let the points be now three uh, points are given no three sets of points are given so first we will tell the first point we will assume it as a a 7 comma minus 2 b 5 comma 1 and c 3 comma 4 okay now by distance formula what we have the formula is square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square so first we will take between a and b So what is your point A? Seven comma minus two. Your point B is five comma one. So on the top with pencil you write x one, y one, x two, y two. So you have square root of x two minus x one, five minus seven the whole square plus one minus of minus two the whole square. Okay. So what is five minus seven minus two? So this will give you minus two the whole square, and here you have minus into minus is plus. So here you will get one plus two the whole square. So that will give you minus two the whole square is four, and this is two plus one three, three square. So what you will get four plus three nine. So this will be a uh, four plus uh, nine is thirteen. So the root thirteen units. Okay, you have to write units. Root thirteen units. Okay, like this you have to write. So this is distance between A B. Now next, what we have to do? We have to find the distance between B C. The same formula you have to use. So here you have distance between B C x two minus x one the whole square plus y two minus y one the whole square. Whenever you are doing the sum, please write the formula because this chapter has so many formulas. Okay, only when you write the formulas and do the sum, it will be in your mind. So x two minus x one, what you have? Three minus five the whole square. This is your x one. Write on the top with pencil. This is x one, y one, x two, y two. So x two minus x one means three minus five the whole square plus four minus one the whole square. So three minus five is minus two, minus two the whole square plus three square. So what you will get? Minus two the whole square is four. 4 plus 9 you will get 13 again this will be root 13 units okay root 13 units now we have to find the distance between ac now ac what you will get the points are a point is 7 comma minus 2 and c point is 3 comma 4 so this is your x1 
y1 x2 y2 so you have square root of x2 minus x1 3 minus 7 the whole square plus 4 minus of minus 2 that is 4 plus 2 so when you uh, simplify that you will get 4 square is 16 and this is 4 plus 2 6 6 square 36 so when you add both what you will get 52 now what is root of 52 you don't have to do the long division method and all okay just do the prime factorization so when you do the prime factorization you will get 13 into 2 into 2 that is 13 into 4 now we all know what is square root of 4 square root of 4 is 2 okay so this will be 2 root of 13 okay this is same as 13 into 2 into 2 so what is that square root of 4 2 so this will give you 2 root 13 units so what we will do we will add both okay the first one how much we got distance between a b you got root 13 right distance between a b we got root 13 distance between b c also you got root 13 so what is root 13 plus root 13 2 root 13 so we will get the answer 2 root 13 so we got a b plus b c equals 1 root 13 plus 1 root 13 that is 2 root 13 which is same as your ac okay so we say hence the points are collinear they are lying on the same line this is how you will do the sum okay so there are two sums in this uh, second roman letter second one i'll give it as homework so do the second one in the same way okay this see this exercise fully has only one formula okay so it will be easy for you okay easy for you to uh, remember that now the third roman letter show that the following points taken in order form an isosceles triangle now what do you mean by an isosceles triangle any two sides should be equal okay so the distance between any two points should be same that is like here previous one we had now a b and b c they had same length the same way in this uh, say third roman letter either distance between a b should be equal to b c or b c should be equal to c a anyone anything any two sides should be same distance okay so we will start the first point a 5 comma 4 second point b 2 comma 0 third point c minus 2 comma 3 so we have distance between a b square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square so when you take the point a b this is your x1 this is your y1 this is your x2 this is your y2 so here you will have 2 minus 5 okay you can write the point a and point b and on the top you write x1 y1 x2 y2 and then 2 okay so this will be 2 minus 5 the whole square plus 0 minus 4 the whole square so that will give you 2 minus 5 is minus 3 minus 3 the whole square plus 0 minus 4 is minus 4 the whole square so minus 3 the whole square is 9 and minus 4 the whole square is 16 so 9 plus 16 what you will get 25 now what is root of 25 root of 25 is 5 so distance between a b how much you are getting 5 units okay now similarly you have to find distance between b c okay distance between bc so this is your x1 this is your y1 this is your x2 this is your y2 okay so x2 minus x1 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 the whole square okay minus 2 minus 2 the whole square plus 3 minus 0 the whole square so minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 minus 4 the whole square plus 3 square so minus 4 the whole square is 16 16 plus 9 again what you will get root of 25 now what is root of 25 root of 25 is same as 5 so this will be 5 units ok so second distance also we got it as 5 units now we will find the third one now distance between AC distance between AC what we will get this is 5 4 and this is minus 2 3 c point okay so x1 y1 x2 y2 so same x2 minus x1 minus 2 minus 5 the whole square plus 3 minus 4 the whole square 
So minus 2 minus 5, same signs, you have to add and put the same sign. So this will be minus 7 the whole square plus minus 1 the whole square. So this will be 49, 49 plus 1. 49 plus 1 what you will get? Root of 50. A root of 50 what you do? You have to do the prime factorization. So this is same as 25 into 2. Okay, like here we did no for 52. 13 into 4 we wrote no. The same way we write for 50 you write 25 into 2. Now what is root of 25? Root of 25 is same as 5. So this will give you 5 root 2 units. Okay, 5 root 2 units. So what we will get? What is AB plus BC? This is AB, this is BC. Okay, AB plus BC. We got it greater than AC and AB equal to BC. So we say triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. See why we are saying AB plus BC is greater than AC? Because you know the property of a triangle. Sum of the lengths of any two sides should be always greater than the third side. Okay. Sum of the lengths of any two sides should be always greater than the third side. Then only you can form a triangle. And the second property that is for the isosceles triangle, we got these two sides are equal. Okay. That is both the things we got as 5 units and 5 units. AB equal to BC we got. So from that we conclude triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal. Okay. So this is how you will do. First find the distance between AB. Then find the distance between BC. Then find the distance between AC. And show that any two sides the answer is same. And when you add up any two sides it should be greater than the third side. So this completes your third normal letter. Second one you do it as homework. Now we will go for the fourth normal letter. The fourth normal letter what you have show that the following points taken in order form an equilateral triangle. Now what do you mean by an equilateral triangle? All the three sides should be equal. Okay. All the three answers you do with the distance formula you should have same answer. So we will start. The first one you have distance between AB. This is your A, this is your B. Distance between AB. So this is your X1, Y1, this is your X2, this is your Y2. So we have square root of X2 minus X1. Minus 2, minus 2 the whole square plus minus 2, minus 2 the whole square. So minus 2, minus 2 is minus 4. Minus 4 the whole square plus again you have minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4. Minus 4 the whole square. So here you have 16 plus 16. Now what is 16 plus 16? 32. That is 16 into 2. So what is uh, root of 16? Root of 16 is 4. So here this answer will be 4 root 2 units. Okay. 4 root 2 units. This is distance between AB. Now next we have to find distance between BC. So what we will get? This is minus 2, minus 2 and this is minus 2 root 3 and 2 root 3. So again you find x2 minus x1, minus 2 root 3, minus of minus 2 the whole square plus 2 root 3 minus of minus 2 the whole square. So minus into minus you get plus. Okay. Now this is minus 2 root 3 plus 2 the whole square and here you have minus 2 root 3 plus 2 the whole square ok so <coughs> this you can even write 2 minus 2 root 3 whole square ok <coughs> 2 minus 2 root 3 the whole square use the formula a minus b the whole square ok use the formula a minus b the whole square so this will be, when you see, when you square this, what you will get? This is minus 2 root 3 whole square. See here, this will be minus 2 root 3 the whole square. When you square this, it will become positive. Because negative thing, when you square, it will always be positive. So this is same as 2 square into root 3 the whole square. Now what is 2 square? 2 square is 4. What is root 3 the whole square? 
root 3 into root 3 which is same as 3. So this will give you 4 into 3 that is 12. Okay. So this answer will be 12. So here you will get 12. Okay. Minus 8 root 3 plus 4. And here this side also same way you do. You will get like this. Okay. Minus uh, 2 uh, root 3 the whole square same like this 4 into 3. And then this will be 2 into this into this plus 2 square. Now after that what you do? Group the like terms. Okay. When you group the like terms what will happen? This minus 8 root 3 and plus 8 root 3 will get cancelled. Okay. Minus 8 root 3 and plus 8 root 3 will get cancelled. So what is remaining here? 4 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 4 plus 12 plus 4. So what you will get? 12 plus 12 is 24. 4 plus 4 is 8. So 24 plus 8 what you will get? 32. So what is root of 32? Same thing. 4 root 2. Okay. So this will be 4 root 2 units. Okay. This is same as 4 root 2 units. Now similarly you have distance between AC. So distance between AC what you will do? This is your A. This is your C. So x2 minus x1 the whole square. This is your x1, y1. This is your x2, this is your y2. So x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So do it and see what answer you get. So here you will get the same way you simplify. Okay. Square this you will get 12 and 8 root 3 and minus 8 root 3 will get cancelled. So same thing you will get root of 32. Now what is root of 32? 16 into 2 is 32. So this is same as 4 root 2. 4 root 2 units. Okay. 4 root 2 units. That is the answer. So what we get? Distance between AB, BC and AC are equal. Okay. Distance between AB, BC and AC are equal. Hence it is an equilateral triangle. Okay. Hence it is an equilateral triangle. So this is how you will do. Okay. Since it was a root sum, be careful. Okay. Now the second part we will I will give it as homework. Now we will go for the fifth one. The fifth one what they have told? Show that the following points taken in order form the vertices of a parallelogram. Okay. Now uh, what are the properties of parallelogram? Opposite sides are parallel and equal. Okay. Opposite sides are parallel and equal. And the diagonals they bisect each other. Now since you don't know the midpoint formula now, we will not use that. Okay. You have to even show that the midpoint of AC and midpoint of BD are same. Diagonals they bisect each other. That also you have to show. But since you don't know the midpoint formula, we will not do that now. We will only find the distance between opposite sides. That is distance between AB, distance between CD. They both should be equal. Then distance between AD and distance between BC. That also should be equal. So that is how we will prove that. So we will start. Now first we will find distance between AB. So what are the points for AB? Minus 3, 1 and second point is minus 6, minus 7. Okay, so first write the formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square full root. And then write the points and on the top you write with pencil x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, so this will be square root of what is your x2? Minus 6. What is your x1? Minus 3. So minus 6 minus of minus 3 the whole square plus minus 7 minus 1 the whole square. So when you remove the bracket, what will happen? Minus into minus is plus. So minus 6 plus 3 the whole square plus minus 8 the whole square. So from that you will get this is minus 3. Minus 3 the whole square is same as 9. 9 plus 64. 9 plus 64 what you will get? Root of 73. Okay. Now root of 73 means 73 is a which number? It's a prime number. So we can't factorize this. Okay, we can't do the prime factorization. So we will just write the answer root 73 units. 
Next thing you have distance between CD. Okay, the opposite side is CD, no? So distance between CD. So distance between CD, what you have? This is your x1, y1, x2, y2. So we have root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So this is 3 minus 6 is minus 3. Minus 3 the whole square plus minus into minus is plus. So here you get minus 9 plus 1 the whole square. So you will get like this. Minus 9 plus 1 is minus 8. When you square a negative thing what happens? It will become positive. So here you will get again the same answer root of 73. Okay. Now these are, these are the first two things we did. Okay. First pair of opposite side we showed they are equal. Now next we will show these two. So distance between AD. Same way you write the points for A, write the same points for D. So you get x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So this will give you 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 square is 81, 81 plus 4. 81 plus 4 what you will get? Root of 85. If you want you can write the prime factorization and do. Or you can just write root 85 itself. Okay, because next one also is root 85 only should be. So, distance between BC you find next, the opposite side of AD. Okay. So, this will be X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So, do it in the same way. You will get 9 square plus minus 2 the whole square. 9 square is 81. 81 plus 4, what you will get? 85. So, this is root of 85. So, root of 85 units, you write. That's all. Okay. Because, see, if you do the prime factorization also, what you will get? If you want you can do okay or you can just leave it like that so no problem okay so what we get from this what you conclude the opposite sides are equal hence ABCD is a parallelogram see there are so many other things also to show okay the opposite sides are parallel also we have to show for that we have to show that the slope that and all you don't know okay slopes are equal we have to show then the diagonals they bisect each other so many other things we have to show but since you don't know all that only the distance formula you know so we are doing only with that okay so from this we conclude that ABCD is a parallelogram since the opposite sides are equal okay since the opposite sides are equal that's all we know from this okay so hence it's a parallelogram so this completes your fifth Roman letter one sum okay that's the first one now, your homework for today is, whatever sums we left out, that you do it as homework. Second Roman letter, one sum we left. Third Roman letter, one sum. Fourth Roman letter, fifth Roman letter. Okay. One, one sum we left. All these sums you do it as homework. Okay. Be regular in your work in third term. Okay. Because these chapters are all new to you. Okay. In third term, all your chapters are new to you. Coordinate geometry is new. Trigonometry is new. Everything is new to you. So, you have to be very, very careful because all these concepts you have next year. In 10th standard, all these concepts you have, okay? So, you have to be very, very careful. Listen to the videos carefully. Don't miss out any of your videos. Just by copying the classwork, you won't get anything. You won't understand anything. You have to listen to the videos carefully. Okay, so please complete your homework and please send it to me.